Hi, I'm Diana DeRosa. I am at the Tryon International Film Festival in North Carolina. And I am with the two most special people at this event, the ones that actually created it with the support of a team of people, a team of volunteers and lots of other people. And we are just about finishing it. And so Bo and Kirk, yep. it's time for you guys to say a few words. How do you feel now that it's over? And looking back, what do you think about everything that happened this weekend? Well, sure. Well, like, like I said, kind of into the closing of the awards. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm sad about it. But at the, really, I'm just happy. I'm just glad it was um, as seamless maybe there wasn't a lot of technical technical issues and that's from for what I do for a living technical issues are everything and it, it's, it's disruptive um, when you have filmmakers flying in here and then you have a tech problem with a, with a you know a playback of their film or or something so the logistics and the operations uh, seemed to me that they they went smooth and that was really the most important thing is to keep keep everything on track and um, uh, and just it just have a good have a good show and for the audience you know, to have that experience um, but but certainly I, I'm happy and I'm sad but uh, I'm but more importantly I'm really inspired and energetic about next year 2020 and Kirk yeah I, I wake up in the morning the day of the show on fr usually Friday morning and I'm taking a shower and I'm sitting there going, oh man I'm thinking about all this stuff how can we do all this stuff mm -hmm. and so we just really bust it you know throughout the entire thing run from here to there with this problem that challenge this but you know i think this year was probably the best year we've ever had from an operational technical standpoint and so i mean and the 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 way it visually looked on our gala opening night mm -hmm. and the fact our file structures that we were using and running films and stuff like that was really really good but i think this was it just operationally all around town from a visual standpoint people being driven around on golf courts you know all around from venue to venue people walk around with their with their lanyards on mm -hmm. we had on one night we had seven venues going on including a concert going on at rogers park and an outside screening live music i mean there was just so much that we did and and but it just came off very nice and i so i think this is really and the quality of films was amazing. Yeah, so I think this was just a great festival. Two and a half days and so much packed into it and you guys have to do most of it. But I want you to each think about these last two days when the movies, two and a half days when the movies were shown. And I want you to think of a couple of special moments that really spoke to you. You know, that said, wow, we really have to keep doing this or, mm -hmm. you know, it was just a little bit different than in the past. So, Bo. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, there's well, it's it's not just one moment, and that's uh, that's a really difficult question. And I would say that one, the most that will stick with me for a long time will be the In Pursuit of Justice, um, the film that was, was our last film in the festival. Um, you know, this was a film that was one of the first we chose to be in the 2019 program, and I saw something in that film that 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 did something to me. You know, it created it. It, it, it was an emotion that I was. Like, this, this has to be told, this has to be heard. And, and I think the Tryon audience um, has the maturity uh, for that, that, um, that, that topic. Um, and when I first reached out to uh, Greg Jambach and, and, and Jamie, I said, can you guys come here and can you bring Greg Taylor with you? And I promise you we could, we could have uh, a conversation about, about justice. Uh, that's probably one that's going to stick with me for a long time, but certainly there's so many from yeah. Foster Boy to, uh, you know, to Life Love Dogs. And, and, um, and so there's, there's really, it's a tough question, but, yeah. but I would say in pursuit of justice is going to stay with me for a while. And Kurt? Yeah. Now with me, it, was, it wasn't any one particular film because in the past five years, we've had mm -hmm. tremendous films. But for me, it was just a collection of, of, of inventory that came in that were just really super quality films. I mean, it, it was amazing to me. We started the season knowing that we, that we had some films that we really liked, and then as, as the films came in, we had, to, we had to cut them down because the, the film quality was just over the board. And, and so to me, it was the fact that these films were coming to us in pursuit of in, in, in pursuit of justice was one certainly foster boy came to us yeah. because of our human rights and dignity us. thing yeah. and and when we talked to them about us about coming here they were like excited genuinely and i thought that was amazing so 
I think it's the maturity that we have as a film festival. And I'd like to add just one more thing to Foster Boy. Um, and there's actually many things they add to Foster Boy, but um, when they, you know, they looked up Triumph Film Festival. It's a small town, you know, and mm. and uh, and and what they told me personally is, you know, we were a little hesitant about coming to a small yeah, town. We hear that film. a lot. You know, we have some we have some, we have some, uh, some uh, big name actors and everything, and maybe we were a little nervous about having a, you know, because it was the southern premiere of the film, but. The experience that they had, uh, J. Paul, uh, Derek uh, Taddy, and, and Kirk Smith said, it's, it is the small town film festivals that have the most impact and that can really help drive that project and really drive uh, the, to, the next, to the next level. And, and um, they'll, go, they'll continue to go to metropolitan festivals and you know, the large city festivals, but there's something a little bit different about a, yeah, a think, small town. I think they festival. come in and they, they say, look, here we've got basically two principals running this thing with a staff of a dozen maybe, you know, as we're, as we're moving into the show. But we're, we're, rather than a huge, you know, 45, 50, 60 people with a huge budget, you know what I mean? And, and they look at like, they, they'd say, we like what these guys are doing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's remarkable. I too also think that uh, I spoke to so many people and everybody talked about how welcoming they felt here. Yeah, we and hear that too. How they felt part of the town, part of the family. Mm -hmm. But we all know that film festivals are not easy to put on. Financially, they're difficult uh, and just you have to run them on a small crew. But yet you guys are persevering and you're continuing. What drives you to keep running this wonderful, obviously wonderful event? But but with, even with the things that make it difficult, what drives you to keep going forward? We try to figure that out, I tell you. Because when these festivals are over, we sit there and take a break and, and decompress and purposely don't talk about it for <laughs> about a month. Well, we should be you know, immediately starting. But it's this internal passion that, we, that I have for storytelling and the love that I have for this town and the creation of a film. And the fact that we know we're getting to know really what we're doing now. And each year, well, we've started to build a system. Yeah, we, we, we learn, we know what we're doing. We know how to talk to filmmakers. We know we're not intimidated by, by people. And, and uh, it's, just, it's just learning what we've, from our mistakes and stuff. Each year, as you know, doing this stuff, mm -hmm. you, just, you just begin to kind of put things together and you don't freak out as much. <laughs> it's the little things that freak us out. Like, what if a, if a piece of content doesn't run? Things like mm -hmm. that. What? You know, those are the kind of problems. But and yeah, that's true. And you also have developed over the years. I mean, how each from year to year, what kind of changes did you make, and what what do you you know what are you looking forward to the future to to some of those changes? Like you had, I think more parties this year sponsored yeah. by. Yeah. Them, by uh, I'd, I'd, uh, I'll definitely I've definitely got an answer to that one. Um, it is is the continuing growth of. Having the hospitality on trade, as I like to call it, having the Tito's party and the upcountry experience, and and I want to see more of that, uh, and really to uh, to really bring the, the trade street alive and, and have parties all over the place. But more importantly, I think now that we've hit that five-year milestone, I really want to bring industry here. I want it for for the for the one weekend a year. I want Tryon to be the backdrop uh, for the film industry and and bringing an exposition here, having a trade show, uh, mm -hmm. and having uh, just distribution companies exhibit uh, here in Tryon, having um, having other film festivals participate. And it's because that it's all about building the ultimate value for the filmmaker and but also creating the uh, memorable experience for the audience. And I think by by bringing a, a trade show element to, to the festival, um, I, I think that's what's going to maybe take it to the next level. Yeah. I, I definitely agree. Now, do you have any last words, Kirk, that you'd like to say in Bo? No, we're just, you know, we're really very, we're happy. We, we're, we're excited where we've come. We're happy that we get to take a little break and get back to our lives. Um, but, uh, you know, and it's, we're happy that you're here asking these, these questions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think it's exciting to me how we get these filmmakers that come in here, you know, and they're humble. I mean, they're just happy that, that we're actually showing their films. Like this, this foster boy with Matthew Modine, you know, he's a movie star and, and hate crime, you know, with Kevin and, and they've, they've done a lot of movies and stuff, but still they're extremely humble and humbled by the fact that they're here and they're standing on stage and people are asking And having fun questions. with it and, and absolutely having, and having a good time with it. And that's what filmmakers want. And that's what 
people that you know authors and things they want their product to be read their story mm -hmm. to be told they don't want it to You're sit there and dust platform. away because they put all this investment of time so you know that we're just you know it's to the filmmakers to the filmmakers that's what we're you know the film production all right so as we talk to the industry we've got to give them a way to get in touch with you so we can continue to make this grow so how do they do that well uh, go to uh, try international film festival.com we are certainly on social media we're very active with uh, with uh, the film uh, with the uh, with Facebook and, and Twitter and everything um, but but you know just just contact us through uh, through our, I guess really our, our web page and everything and and uh, we're very accessible and we want to continue to be very personal uh, Google us with, with the yeah. audience so, yeah. Every, we try to do with the with your help so much mm -hmm. we try to get everything out with photos and videos and stuff so people can just spread the word and and, and see what we're doing mm -hmm. well Bo and Kirk thank you for sharing your thoughts and. And I'm Diana DeRosa bringing you movie clips from the Tryon International Film Festival. Festival.